hello dear students welcome to english class this is the video 2 of uh, discovering tut the saga continues and this video is the continuation of the chapter and we will start our video today from this paragraph so video 1 we have completed till here and the video 2 starts from here let's go to the chapter students after month of carefully recording the pharaoh's funerary treasures quarter began investigation is tree nested coffin opening the first he found a short adorned with garlands of bilbo and olive leaves and wild clary lotus petals and cornflowers the faded evidence of a burial in march or april when he finally reached the mummy though he ran into trouble the ritual reasons had hoarded cementing tat to the bottom of a solid cold coffin no amount of legitimate force could move them cater wrote later what was to be done so in this paragraph already we have discussed this so the cater when he found the coffin of uh, tut the king tut Cater took a few months to record the treasures found in Tut's grave. Then he began investigation in three coffins, which were nested on one in another. In the first coffin, he found a piece of cloth with the garlands of bilbo and olive leaves. And bilbo and olive leaves is the tree name. and wild clary and lotus petals and corn flowers so these flowers and leaves which is suggested that he had been buried in the month of march or april when he reached the third coffin he was in a trouble the body had hardened due to the reasons reason means glue which had cemented the body and it had stuck to the bottom of the coffin which was made of gold cotter wondered what to do next because no amount of force could separate the two coffin the next paragraph the sun can beat down like a hammer this for south in egypt and the cotter tried to use it to loosen the reasons for several hours so in egypt because it is a desert place no the sun can beat down like a hammer this for a south in egypt south egypt and he thought that the sun the heatness will remove the caffeine box and also which is stuck on the bottom and cotter tried to use it to lose the reasons so when he put in the sun light maybe the because of heat the reason may be um, lose he thought like this he set the mummy outside in blazing sunshine that heated it to 149 degrees fahrenheit nothing budget he reported with the scientific de- detachment that the consolidated material had to be and chiseled away from beneath the limbs and trunk before it was supposed possible to raise the king's remains 
so the coacher decided to keep the coffin in the sun light for several hours he set the mummy outside in a blazing sunshine that heated it to 149 degrees fahrenheit heat for several hours but still it remained stuck he reported that a sizzle could be used used to cut down the mummy from the uh, limbs and the trunks so that the tuts body could be taken out of the coffin in his defense cotter really had a little choice if he had not cut the mummy free thieves most certainly would have circumvented the gods and ribbon it apart to remove the gold in tuts time the royals were fabulously wealthy and they thought or hoped they could take their rich uh, riches with them for his journey to the great beyond king tut was lavished with glittering goods and precious collars and inlaid necklaces and uh, bracelets rings amulets and ceremonial apron and sandals and shittas for his fingers and toes and the now iconic inner coffin and mosque all of pure gold to separate tut from his adornments cotter's men removed the mummy's head and served nearly every major joint once they had finished they resembled the remains on a layer of sand in a wooden box with a padding that concealed the damage the bed were tut now rest so in this paragraph according to carter he had no choice other than to cut the mummy he believed that if he could, had not done that the thieves would have removed the gold from the doom and would have looted it during that time the royal people were very wealthy and they had a belief that after the death they could take that wealth among with them for his life after death he was given a precious collars necklace with the decorative patterns bracelets rings amulets ceremonial aprons sandals shetels for her fingers and toes and now an iconic inner coffin and a mask after they finished they reassembled the remains in the wooden box with the padding filled with a layer of sand and the damage they can remove it was is now resting place next paragraph archaeology has changed substantially in the intervening decades focusing less on a treasure and more on the fascinating details of life and intriguing mysteries of death it also uses a more sophisticated tools including medical technology in 1968 more than 40 years after carter's discovery and anatomy professor x-rayed the mummy and revealed a startling fact beneath the reason that cakes is chest his breast bone and the front ribs are missing so in this paragraph in the past uh, few decades archaeology has changed has it now focus on the details of life and the mysteries of death here 
it was about the fo- uh, focusing on the treasure but now it uses more advanced medical technologies and tools and for research in 1968 an anatomy professor x-rayed uh, king tut's mummy and revealed that the front limbs and the breast bone were missing so we move to the next paragraph today diagnostic imaging can be done with computed tomography it's called a ct scan by which hundreds of x rays in cross section are put together like slices of a bread to create a three dimensional virtual body what more would a ct can ct scan reveal of that than the x ray and could it answer to of the biggest questions till lingering about him how did he die and how old was he had the time of death so in this paragraph now with the advancement of technology ct scan or computer te- uh, tomography can give a virtual image of the whole body of tut with the help of this technology the king tut's body would be scanned to find answers to the two questions carter says how he died and how old was he had the time of his death his death was a shock to the royals also as he was the last person of his family and his funeral indicated the diminishing of his dynasty however what happened after his death is still not clear in touch dimis was a big event even by a royal standards he was the last of his family's line and his funeral was the death rather of a dynasty but the particulars of his passing away and it is after meds or anti that's already i told you his death was mystery amen hotel third tuts father or grandfather was a powerful pharaoh who ruled for most almost four decades four decades of 40 years at the height of uh, the uh, 18th dynasty's golden age his son amenhotep iv succeeded succeeded him and initiated one of the st- strongest period in the history of ancient egypt the new pharaoh promoted the worship of the eton the sun disk changed its name to akenet or servant of the eten and moved to the religious capital from the old city of thebes to new city of akenet known now as amarena now it is called amarena he further shook the country by attacking amon a major god smashing his images and closing his temples it must have been horrific time and said roy johnson director of university of chicago's research center in lowford the site of ancient the best the family that had ruled for the centuries was coming to an end and then akechetan 
went a little vague. So in this paragraph, Tut's father or grandfather, Amahotep, third was a very powerful pharaoh who ruled over a period of 40 years. His son, Amenhotep IV, succeeded him and began to strongest a period in history of Egypt. So, dear students, Tut's father or grandfather, Amenhotep III, was a very powerful pharaoh who ruled over a period of 40 years. And his son, Amenhotep IV, succeeded him and began the strongest period in the history of Egypt. He promoted the worship of Aten. Aten means the sun disk. He changed his name to Akintetan, meaning servant of the Atens, which means servant of God's son. He also shifted the religious capital from Thebes. Thebes is the religious capital before and he changed into the new city of Akhenate. Now, right now, the place called Amarna. Further, he attacked Amun. A god has smashed his images and closed his temples. This was said by Roy Johnson, is the director of a university in Chicago, said, It must have been a bad time for the empire as the family who ruled for centuries came to an end and Akhetan moved in an odd direction. So, dear students, till here I stop. We'll continue part three video. Thank you, students.